Irish Media Network. We entertain. Hi, I'm Chris Mallon. Welcome to Top 5. The Irish Food Show, where I travel the Emerald Isle, search for the best in everything, from brunch to burgers and sushi to steak. This week, we start in the capital, trying to find the number one burger Dublin has to offer. This is a hot topic that's been widely debated, and I know everyone has their favourite. So let's dive into the top contenders, see what makes each one of them unique, and ultimately, how good they really are. We start on Dawson Street, right into Featherblade. So tell us, what is the secret behind a great burger? From a professional viewpoint, I don't think it's, it's really a secret. It's the same as anything else we're going to put on our menu. It's working with uh, good suppliers to get good ingredients and then creating something with those ingredients that has uh, different textures and flavours that complement each other. Good processes, good techniques, uh, good finish on whatever you're making, uh, consistency and then of course uh, working with people that are going to have, regardless of whether we're cooking a Wagyu ribeye or a cheeseburger, they're going to have uh, care and respect for what they're doing. So Aaron, tell us what sets your burger apart from other great burgers? We knew kind of going into this before we started making the burger, there were so many options out there for customers um, that we couldn't just put like a, a regular standard but good burger on the menu. It just it wasn't going to be good enough. It wasn't going to set us apart. It was probably a year long process before we had it something we were we were good enough and happy with. Um, so it was again, it was testing different cuts of beef as opposed to just the traditional chuck. Um, different cuts and different ratios, you know, different ratios of meat, uh, different grinds, different textures, working back and forth with uh, different suppliers until we found someone that we thought was consistent enough to, to give us what we needed. So the incredible bacon you use has won over many. Can you tell us more about the process of making that and what makes it so delicious? Yeah, sure. So it's a, it's a house cured bacon um, that we, uh, we then smoke over, over applewood for about six hours. And again, like the burger, you know, we could have just sent out a standard bacon, but we just wanted to push ourselves and use the knowledge we know to, to push it a step further. Uh, so we get, a, get the raw belly in, we'll cure it ourselves in a mix of different spices and sugars. Uh, then we go a step further after that, we'll, we'll cure it for a, a week longer in uh, molasses. And then we'll go a step even further, we kind of smoke it. Um, so it's just, we think it's, it's a lot, it's worth it, so it is in the end. It's definitely worth it, it's incredible. So Aaron, thank you very much for the interview. I'm delighted to say all that's left to do is to taste this beautiful burger. Incredible. Here we go. Look at that. So as you can see, the layers to the burger, that sweet smoky bacon, smoked in the apple wood, this cheese, it's so good. The black garlic, it has a great punch of it. And this pickled red onion, it's beautiful. High quality beef, it's actually just an amazing burger. When you talk about burgers in Dublin, Bunton could be the name that comes up most often. With nine locations and six right here in Dublin, we're here on Baggett Street to grab one of those famous cheeseburgers and hang out on the Grand Canal. So it's burger time. So they keep it simple with their menu, it's just a business card. You can order a double or a single. I went for a risk-free medium to keep everyone happy here. And the beef itself is supplied by FX Buckley, which is a famous Dublin butcher that's been serving beef in Dublin for 90 years. So here we go. The smell is incredible already, I'm salivating. Wow. Like, that beef, it's so juicy, it's like, uh, just look at this. So you can tell there's like freshly baked bread every morning. The patty is just such high quality. There's like some umami coming from the pickle. It's just, it's a top quality burger. You're not really gonna get much better than that in the city or anywhere in the world for that matter of fact.
Next up, Wow Burger, boasting seven restaurants spread all across Dublin. We're here on Wexford Street, close to the hubs of Camden Street and Harcourt Street, the late night areas of Dublin. We're going to go inside and check it out. So we're in Wow Burger here on Wexford Street and I'm here with Susan from Wow Burger. So Susan, can you tell us a little bit about Wow Burger? Wow Burger started in the Workman's Club. It was started as a hut and it was probably the decision to put it in the bar area was to see if it could generate some food sales. And I don't think anyone at the time probably realised the success that it would become and the brand that it's moved to over the last, I've been with the company three years now. We've gone from the small hut in the Workman's Club downstairs into know, Mary's wow. Bar, yeah. which is exceedingly busy. You know, we've opened Tala, we've opened Ranla, Parnell, with about another six openings coming up. So Brilliant. it's for, for me, it's very much about everything being on brand. So it's the standard of the building, the level of the music playing, the standard of the burger, and the ambience and everything that you feel when you come into the place. So what is the secret behind a great burger? And what sets your burger apart from other great burgers? Again, attention to detail. So we spend a lot of time with our suppliers. Our meat, uh, the burger meat itself is 100% um, Irish and it's grass, grass fed. There's chuck and rib in that and we have our supplier believes in very much that farm to fork. Um, we have gone out of our way to try and find the perfect cheese and we have Cochrane's Bakery have done a lot of work for us in the background and we have a bespoke bun. A lot of it is in training with the guys so when we set up a new venue they put on the line we show them the system the way it's done and we expect them all so even to the slice of the tomato should always be the same thickness Brilliant. the slice of the onion and always fresh ingredients yeah. so everything we have in here is fresh and we obviously cook to order so um, the busier venues so say Wexford Street on a busy night you might feel from start to finish the burger normally takes about 10 minutes but on a busy busy night we only sell burgers so the guys will be cooking them as fast as the volumes coming in so it can sometimes seem a lot quicker so it really is about making sure the staff are well trained the quality of the product and attention to detail brilliant so susan thank you very much i'm excited now can't wait to taste one of these beautiful burgers perfect <laughs>
after like the patty, after the bun, the cheese, pickle is the next thing that goes onto it, mm. 100%. Yeah. Good sauce as well. I think Bougie does a really good sauce. But you see what I mean? Like, it all comes out, like, a good burger is like a good building. You need a good foundation. You need the walls, you need the roof. It's all like, you're not gonna walk into a house you think it's gonna collapse. And same way you eat it, but you see these burgers are like nine feet tall and you need planning permission to eat. Like, I'm not gonna eat one of them and cover my, cover my garms. <laughs> the best burger analogy you'll ever get. <laughs> Seriously, it's like, there needs to be thought put into, put into everything, from the grind of the meat to the texture of the bun. It has to be a homogenous, consistent thing. Well, just, just my fourth burger today. I can't stop eating it. <laughs> You're right about the bite and stuff is like as well. Like you're not you're not fighting it. You're not losing control no. of it straight away. There's not just like sauce all over you. Mm -hmm. You're just kind of getting what everything you want from a burger straight away in that yeah, first bite. Exactly. Hundred percent. It's just it's a great burger experience. And you know what? It's funny actually. Eating a burger, I've, like I had a lot of at home burger kits. Mm. And I think in its nature, a burger is something that's enjoyed like this. It's enjoyed in somewhere that isn't your house because it yeah. is like. I could eat this at home and I wouldn't enjoy it as much as I would sit standing under a tree. For our final stop, we head across the River Liffey to Dublin's north side. And in East Point Business Park, not far from the Docklands, you find Block Burger. Block Burger started in 2016 as a pop-up and in recent times has gathered as a cult following and is undoubtedly one of the best looking burgers in the city. Yeah, baby. Oh my God, so look at the layers to this straight away. We have, see, I can just see down here. Look at the sauce coming out of the bottom there. You can see the onions, pickle. Looks so good, bacon, cheese. Last one of the day. So you have two large patties in there. Both are excellent, both are, both are quite juicy, but they're like, you can tell they've been on the grill, they have a bit of crispiness on the outside, which matches with the crispiness of the bacon. The cheese is great, there's a nice bit of onion in there, there's pickle, there's lettuce, the sauce is good. It's like, it's, a, it's, it's different than what we had in some other places, and it's this big burger. It's a real handful, but like, the flavor is still excellent. Like, it's a mouthful, but like, it's a, it's a quality burger. No, undoubtedly one of the top five. Five burgers in, my t-shirt is still white. I really hope you enjoyed the show. I really shouldn't finish this, but it's actually delicious and I'm gonna keep on going with it. Thank you very much. That was top five. They were the top five burgers in Dublin that we believe are the best. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. We'll be back with episode two soon. Irish Media Network. We entertain.